Roman Rhodes Medleys. I'm Rhodes. And I'm Roman. Uh, no! <laughs> Roman Rhodes Medleys. Here we are. Welcome back. I'm Roman. And I'm Rhodes. And today we are talking about... An alligator versus a beaver. Tell see who's gonna all this time. Tell us all this time. See who comes out the victor on this. Uh, basically, there's a couple of chains of... Um, so it's going to be the alligator. Beaver has alligator? no defense mechanisms against it. I think it. nobody's going to win. It's going to be... And what it is, everybody who watches us, I'm pretty sure, yes. is a uh, Texan. But if you are not, there is a famous chain native to Texas called Bucky's. they got a giant beaver in the logo. And they're pretty popular. They're known for having giant... It's gas a convenience stations. store it's kind a of thing, station. basically. Gas station. You can stop by. There's, There's one. I'll head it up to Austin. A and bunch of go and get some throughout food. Throughout Texas. Yes. They're all throughout the Texas. Uh, the closest but, one that I know uh, to us is head up toward to Austin. You stop, get your gas, use a bathroom. I think they know, how it, they, they know how it works. They, they know, know how the yeah. gas station works. They're very well kept. Yes. Predominantly. And they have competition in San Antonio in the form of Choke Canyon. That, I did not know that was his name. I think That's I just thought it Parador. We the one we actually there's one down the street where we go to get snacks during time. during video recordings. Give us money. Yes, and it's uh, they got good barbecue sandwiches. That's what they're known for. Actually, that's their whole thing is a choke canyon off his barbecue within oh, the gas station. I did not know that was their main thing. That's the I main thought thing. Bucky's had that too. Doesn't does Bucky have like diners? Isn't it? Bucky's does have uh, barbecue, but it has mm. also a wide variety of foods. Mm. So it's not specifically barbecue. You know, yeah. they do kind of like the uh, popcorn and you know all the all the different kind Things. of delicacies, and I know, snacks, foods, and stuff like that. So. Choke Canyon is just in San Antonio and vaguely around the areas. Yes. They sell pretty much everything else you would get at a normal gas station, but a lot more of it and pretty well lit and lots of gas. Lots of gassy places. They're, they're pretty well designed too, so it's like it's easy to get in and out. Yada yes. yada. Perfect like spots both. for yeah. during traveling to stop. You know, refresh your car, refuel mm-hmm. yourself and your kids. Use a gas station for gas station things right. like you would station eating. So gas. here's the story. Bucky's logo is a beaver in a, in a kind of like that. a yellow, yeah, in a yellow uh, uh, circle. Yeah. Has a little hat. It's like an anthrop- anthropomorphic cartoon character. Choke Canyon's like logo a, is an alligator. In a cowboy in a, hat. In a cowboy hat doing like a thumbs up with his tongue sticking out. And basically Bucky's is saying that... Choke Canyon is using the cartoon character logo mm. to steal customers away from Bucky. When you're confused. When yeah. You're confused. And it's kind of a ridiculous thing. So, I mean, Bucky's is going all in in this uh, lawsuit. They're, they're suing Choke Canyon. Mm. And I think here the beaver bit off more than it could chew. <laughs> Clever. Um, so, wait. Bucky is also the name of the mascot, right? The, I the think beaver, so. yes, Right? The yes. beaver. Is Choke the name of the alligator? I don't know what the name of the alligator is, but their whole slogan is, See you later, alligator. Oh, I like it. I like uh, it. What's but, Bucky's logo? Uh, or slogan? What was that? It's Bucky's. We'll give you gas. Bucky. Stop. Eat here and get gas. Really? No. <laughs> but I've seen that sign somewhere before. I like that. I like it. Um, yeah, uh, but the you're, funny thing is... How like, is that not in your thorough notes? You're so, so thorough notes. The but thoroughness. Basically, okay, um... Trademark law says mm-hmm. that the, the either company doesn't really own any attributes to their logo. I mean, they own the logo, but like really? they, they can't say, well, just because it has the yellow background, uh, they copyright from okay. us. Or just it because it's a, be it's an anthropomorphic mine. cartoon character, an animal, you know. But I mean, it's pretty silly because some people say, you know, there's no way that people are going to get confused over a beaver and an alligator. Basically, yeah. that's the fight. It's like if I go into a seafood restaurant and expect Starbucks coffee because it had a mermaid on it. Exactly. It's like clearly the issue isn't the logo, it's me. Yes. <laughs> so oh, For those of you who don't know the Starbucks logo, it is actually a mermaid. Yes. Fun, weird fact. Um, so I guess that gets into the conversation of like, wh- how do you, you know, get logos and, you know, wh- why is even an alligator and a beaver attributed to barbecue and gas. It, that, first off, doesn't make any sense to me. I think it's just that it was mascotty looking. A beaver and a, they look like they could be, a beaver and an alligator mm-hmm. um, with hats on, just looks like basketball, football mascots. Like you yeah. can see giant, uh, what is it? What do you call the costume? Like the plushy costume that the they mascots, have? Yeah. Mascots, yeah. Mascots like running around and I would totally be like, that looks totally in place mm-hmm. and something that Texas would do. And it's like, you know, the Texas sized gas station, everything's blah, blah, bigger. Everything's blah. bigger in Texas. Blah, 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 blah. But the one thing is, too, like the, the Bucky's uh, lawyers were saying that just because Choke Canyon is also advertising 
ultra clean restrooms. Like oh, that's is that a selling kind of point? Yeah. That is the selling like, point. Like that's a trademark thing. But I mean, it's not illegal to say you have clean restrooms. Yeah. It's not. You know what I like about those restrooms? They show you what colors your pee should be. Anytime you go pee there, yeah, on top of they got like a screen so you can watch something while you're peeing. Because that's what you're thinking. Yeah. And then it's like, they got a little scale. And mm-hmm. it shows like white, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be clear. Mm-hmm. And yes. then it goes like all the way down to brown. And they got a line of like hydration level and mm-hmm. the, the, the effects of it and stuff. But I could see, you know, how that could be a real good selling point on, uh, what is it, for but people, travelers, and truck drivers. Selling point. It that shouldn't, shouldn't be, be a, but that um, should be standard everywhere. But this is America, sir. And capitalism says, yeah, you don't. So, Gas station restrooms and rest stop restrooms are infamous for being yeah, horrible yeah. places. Not just in cleanliness, but like danger and stuff. And they're the Choke Canyon, at least, uh, restrooms, they're. Pretty everything's super well lit. The whole area is very well lit, yes. and it does not seem skeevy at all, which is like the hugest compliment for a gas station going towards Mexico <laughs> in this and, area. You see, well, they, so that's a question I have for you. If because the only Bucky's, like I said, close that I know of is headed up to Austin, so it's it's now around here. Mm-hmm. We have Choke Canyon five minutes away. Yeah. If there was a Bucky's, no. would you prefer one over the other, or like? Would yeah. you say just because of the cartoon character? Really? I mean, think about it. How close are they to each other that they can they can even physically still business? I can understand if they're across the street from each other, but look how far out of our way we'd have to go to get well, to I a think Bucky's. I, the whole thing started, I think, was when Cho Canyon wanted to open a location in New Braunfels, closer to the Bucky's, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. But still, there's tons of gas stations, and there's, you know... Too many, though. Too many. Don't they don't know. like competition. Yeah. Anti-competitional, monopolistic... Fascists. I have only good things to say about Show Canyon, and but Show Canyon, I, yeah, I agree. And the, and the times agree. that I've been to Bucky's, I've only had good experiences there. How many times have you been to Bucky's? Uh, exactly four or five. Four, five. I headed up to Austin, or headed up actual to the actual oh, Choke right. Canyon little uh, river there to go on vacations. Well, there's actually a Choke Canyon, and it's river, and they have a Choke Canyon gas yeah, station over there. Oh, they ready? Yeah, yeah. The you cross the line first, Bucky. You. Cross the line. You stepped on the gator's tail. Um, but those of you who maybe live closer to Austin, let us know what you think. I mean, if you live around a Bucky's. They don't. All uh, of our fans are know you us. You guys they're over here on Joe Canyon. Would it confuse you? That doesn't make any sense. I think they're both good companies. Of course, Bucky's is a bigger one, has more locations. Mm-hmm. But it, it, you wouldn't get confused. Why no. is this a lawsuit? I'm just going to say, I'm just throwing this out there. I'm not saying nothing for nobody. In my opinion, which is a fact, McDonald's has more locations than Whataburger. That is a fact. One has higher quality burgers than the other. That is also a fact. So just apply that how you would well, to yeah, this. But, are you, but, but, saying, but that would be saying, hey, the, the arch, the golden arches, if you flip it upside down, it's a W. They, so what are is stealing our logo? Doing. That's actually what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah, okay, good. Does that make any sense? That's a perfect analogy that I made without trying. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so know. their point is dumb. I agree. What he said, what do you think about this? We all know it's stupid. This whole thing. Boop. I'm going to go Austin. I'll still stop by Bucky's. Here, I think in a bit, let's go grab something to Choke Canyon. I already drink. booped, sir. We should be on our way to Choke Canyon already. A lot of great points we made there. Lots of awesome ideas, but you might not think so. Let us know what you feel. Uh, please like and share the videos, and you can find more at... On Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and here on our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.